Um, so my name is Michael Mockney, and I'm here from Google. Uh, Google's been contributing to Cordova for the last couple of years. Oh, there we go, much louder. Uh, we've been contributing to Cordova for the last couple of years, and uh, another team within Google has been building uh, packaged web applications as well as hosted web applications and experimenting with this whole concept of how do we bring the web forward and bring native capabilities uh, to browsers. So, you know, Firefox is doing something similar with Firefox OS and Firefox apps. Um, and so specifically our team is the hybrid team within Google uh, and the Cordova contributors. We were, we've decided to bring the Chrome apps interface uh, to mobile, uh, to Android and to iOS. Um, and so hopefully I can show you some of the tools that uh, various teams within Google are using today, some of what we've built, and together we can build an app uh, that will harness the inner Canadian in all of us. Uh, a lot of the PhoneGap team and all of the Google hybrid team are in Canada, so we will build an app called A. You're not allowed to use it. <laughs> uh, so this is the app that we're gonna build today. This is right now running uh, in my Chrome browser as a Chrome packaged application. Uh, I just launched it, and you can see a few names. And if I sort of click on some of these names, they will get an A. Max just got one. Max, can you send me an A and see if a notification pops up here? All right. I'm getting it on my phone, I think, because I'm logged in with the same user. So very simple app. All it's using is a very, very simple user interface. We're not UX designers. It is written in Polymer, so for anybody who wants to take a look, there's a little bit of Polymer components in there, uh, web components, and so you can play with that. Uh, the communication is done through Chrome GCM API, which is Google Cloud Messaging, which is a push uh, messaging implementation. Uh, you get local notifications, rich notifications. So on Android in the system tray, you'll see notifications when somebody sends you an A so that you know it's, they're trying to get your attention. Um, you also use identity. When I log in, I get my real name from Google Services. Uh, and on Android, you get the account picker in case you have multiple accounts and you can choose the name you want and that sort of thing. So these are plugins that we have written for Cordova and APIs provided natively through Chrome for Chrome apps. Okay, so this is, I guess I should show. I will just hold it up. Hold on, I gotta get it running. Oh, yeah. the exact same application running on mobile over here, and it keeps vibrating because people keep sending me stuff. Um, yeah, very simple. Now, are we ready to all build one version ourselves? We have the server running, the GCM server. I've set up all the authentication tokens, and we have a tutorial of how to go from zero to hero. And you can customize it to have your own look and feel and add your own special features. Uh, the repo, for those who have come earlier, is listed down here. So we're the mobile Chrome apps org on GitHub, and there's a workshop-cca-a. CCA is the name of our command line tool, which is built on top of Cordova CLI, which stands for Cordova Chrome Apps. And our Wi-Fi is pretty good here today, so hopefully everybody should be able to clone that nice and quick. And I'll, since we only have an hour and a half, and it usually takes a bit longer to go through this whole workshop, I'll, I'll try to accelerate everyone um, through the process. Hands up if you still need this repo URL. All right. So all of the instructions are in the readmes, and there's multiple steps. And between every single step, there's an answer sheet sort of with uh, an app that ho has already gone through all of the steps. So since I'm worried we won't get through to have enough time today, uh, we might be able to just skip to the very last step and load it up just to have it on your phone. So we'll see how we do with time an hour from now. Now, the way you build uh, Chrome package apps for mobile is very similar to the way you would develop a PhoneGap application or some uh, Firefox apps and that sort of thing. You have two choices. You can use a command line, which is our CCA tool. It's a node-based app. You have to have your uh, Android development, uh, Android SDK installed and set up properly. So for anyone who does Cordova CLI-based application development, you could go ahead and continue to do that. Just npm install uh, dash gcca. The other option is you can use an IDE on your browser and a companion application on your phone and only send your web ass assets, which is similar to the PhoneGap app that was sort of demoed earlier for anybody who saw those sessions. So choose your poison, either the command line interface or the IDE. I'll show the IDE here. I just closed it. 
So this is me starting up the Chrome Dev Editor. Um, and it's based on top of the Ace Editor, and it has a whole bunch of features. So step four is the answers to after you finished step four. And so if I hit play, it will run my Chrome app in the browser. Or if I use this dropdown, I can deploy to mobile. And hopefully, if my USB is still connected, it will send the latest version over to this app that I have running on my phone, which it did, which is great. So maybe I'll walk around for a bit now. You guys can go through the, the README instructions, and we'll make sure everybody's up and running. Hopefully, everybody has an Android device and a USB cable. If you do not, raise your hand, and we'll see if we can get you one. What are you missing? OK, I'll give you a tablet. So Chrome apps for mobile, we do target iOS as well. And uh, most of our APIs are supported on iOS. Notifications would work, storage would work, identity would work. But one of the APIs that we wanted to highlight in this workshop was GCM, which is not supported at all for iOS. It's just not going to be possible. So um, this workshop is Android only. Yes, much like with uh, PhoneGet apps and um, Cordova applications, all we're doing is wrapping it with an Android application shell. You end up with an APK that you can upload. This app is in the Play Store, and you can download it. I haven't updated it for the latest version, so. Um, absolutely. So one of the things that Chrome Apps for Mobile is already doing, which is coming to Cordova soon and we'll talk about tomorrow, is we're bundling the latest tip of tree Chromium build uh, using a project called Crosswalk, done by Intel. So the same version of Chrome, more or less the same version of Chrome that you would have on desktop if you ran this Chrome app will be running on your mobile device on all Android versions, which is nice. Yes. A approximately, yes. Yeah, if you're used to using IDEs with play buttons and that sort of thing, then Chrome Dev Editor is the equivalent. It is a much simpler IDE. It's very, very extremely simple. It's just a text editor with, you know. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Well, so this, the Chrome Dev Editor will not compile an APK for you. It will send your application assets to a companion app that runs on your mobile device. And that companion app is called the Chrome App Developer Tool for mobile. If you want the APK, you have to use the command line tools. Okay. It's exactly the same as with PhoneGap and with Cordova development. The, the command line tools use all of the native platform SDKs to build the APKs, and that's what you upload to the store. But it's a bit of a, you have to compile every time, and there's some overhead to the time. Um, and so usually w we prefer using the companion app because you could really quickly push, 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 iterate, iterate, iterate. Or for Chrome apps, you can even uh, do local development, right? Because I can run. For anybody who's tried playing with Cordova browser, this is sort of similar. We do edits in the browser. Once we're nice and comfortable, we enjoy the APIs. Then we push to mobile and see how it works and iterate. Uh, I think the equivalent is the PhoneGap app. Is that what it's called, Brian? Yeah. 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 It is a little. <laughs> There are tiny differences in the way we actually implemented it, specific to both Chrome apps and thing. Uh, we're also uh, contributing the majority of the work for the Chrome app developer tool under a project called Cordova App Harness. Um, and so hopefully more and more uh, teams will be building on top of the Cordova App Harness to develop their own version. So you'll, you'll probably see a Cord Cordova App Harness that's actually usable on its own. Um, exactly. Yeah. Another little detail about this particular workshop, there is a Chrome app uh, developer tool that is officially released, which you can download and use for any application. But for this workshop, there's a special version I built. And the only one difference is that it's set up to use the GCM server that, because otherwise all of us would have to register GCM servers. And I know we're all rushing today, but you guys should read this, uh, these instructions very carefully at some point, because there's tons of jokes, lots of good Canadian jokes about bacon and stuff. Our Australian friend got carried away.
All right, at this point, me standing up here is just starting to get boring. So I'm gonna come around. If anybody needs uh, assistance at any time, raise your hand. Max is here with us as well. He's also from on our team. 